Well, Jeff, there's a lot of drug activity, and you can see the elementary school behind me. This is Lincoln Park Elementary, and then right next door where those mature trees are, that is the park. And with the activity being so close to the school, parents tell me it's too close for comfort. It concerns me, but it doesn't surprise me that there would be needles found in that park. Lincoln Park is known for its beautiful tall trees, but it's also known for something else. I've noticed uh, cops patrolling the area quite frequently, and I'm pretty sure it's well-known knowledge that this park especially is trouble. Stephen Galvin says there are lots of people going in and out of the park at all hours of the night. They've cleared that area out, and I think that that's helped a lot, but it's still a pretty hot spot. But have the problems in the park spilled over onto school grounds? We asked the David Douglas School District, and spokesperson Dan McHugh told us there were some needles found beneath a storm drain in October on school grounds. However, the district says they were not very accessible to children and were cleaned up right away. For now, it appears the bigger concern for worried parents might be the park next door. Obviously, it's the exact place where children just go to play, and parents don't necessarily think that they need to monitor them when they're just um, playing in the grass. Stephen says they have done a good job of clearing out the underbrush, but there are still places where people can slip out of sight. I just kind of hope that the cops continue doing what they're doing, patrolling the area. The biggest deterrent for most of that, from what I've read and researched is just presence. Um, they do a great job with the schools already and very responsive whenever there have been issues. And I did speak to a different neighbor who told me he walks his dog in the park regularly and sometimes takes a different path to avoid needles. He says when he sees one, he has a plastic bag with him. He sometimes picks them up so they aren't a danger to people coming to the park. Back to you.